Sunday morning, it's like 33 degrees here in Ohio. We're gonna make some egg, sausage, and cheese bagels. And now we can griddle. All right, so I got the griddle going already. It's at uh, maybe about 350. Did it on medium and turned it down to low. Ooh, 370, a little high there. If you guys can see that. Um, I already put these hash browns down for me and my wife. Whenever I gr warm up the griddle, preheat it, I'll just throw the frozen hash browns down because uh, they take forever. I don't... So, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to do the little eggs for the bagels in these egg rings here. That's what I wanna do them in. So, I'm gonna try to get, just to make like a nice, perfect little round egg for the sandwich for the egg rings. Those are through Cuisinart. Uh, my wife got them for me for Christmas. And I appreciate it. And I'm returning the favor by making her a bagel. So uh, what I'm doing here is I didn't bring out my spray. So I just put a little bit of oil on my fingers and then I'm gonna rub it around here just so that the eggs don't stick to that. They probably still will stick, but. Then I got sausage. I also already cooked some of the sausage. This is actually from yesterday. I made a sausage casserole. And I'm gonna just throw that in there. Just ground up sausage. So instead of a patty, I have this, but I'm gonna cook it all in here with the eggs. And I got some peppers and onions. It's gonna kind of almost be like a mini little omelet is what it's gonna be. Um, so it should be good. It should be a little different. And then I'll put the eggs in at the end. It could be like omelet or a frittata, whatever you wanna call it. So I got three eggs right here. I haven't scrambled them yet. I got a little bit of baking powder. That's something that we used to do back at the restaurant. Um, they said it makes it fluffier. I have no idea if that's true or not. All I do is stick my fork in. And I mean, I'm talking like half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Just go in there. And I've been trying to do the eggs and scramble them at the last minute. Because I read somewhere that that makes them better. I have no idea again if that's true, but I've been trying to experiment with that and not scramble them beforehand and then having them sit for like 20, 30 minutes. But I'm not familiar because all the time working in restaurants, honestly, we use the little boxed pre-made scrambled eggs. So I don't know if this actually will make it better or not. I was reading a big article about eggs, just saying how people put milk in it, they think it makes it fluffier, and the, the milk doesn't, it just thins it out, it makes it like cafeteria eggs. Baking powder makes it fluffier, or people think it's creamier, butter makes it creamier. So, gonna do a little bit more oil, and just hopefully this doesn't stick. I probably could have got away with one egg each, but it should be right around where we want to be. little bit's coming out of the side. I don't know if that's because I lifted it up or that's just, that happens occasionally with these. It's not terrible. I just pour it in slower. You know what? Three of them might have been perfect. I might fill it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna give the water a little bit of squirt under there. Let's it up. Back here in the back is where I'm going to put down the bagels, which I've already got sliced up. Try to get the little bit of toast on them. Hey, yo. A little bit in that one. Get closer. The middle is still not, not where I want it to be. I think we're gonna learn a lesson today about using these egg rings. Of this thing, or did I not spray it down enough?
on. We used to just tap them a lot of bobs and then we'd get them off. And it did. It got darker than I wanted. Well, shoot. I don't think it's not going to be good. I just think it got darker than I would like. Also, a lot of that is the sausage that was sitting on the bottom that was cooking. So, it's not the end of the world. You just tap them like that to get them off. If I really didn't use enough oil. Their spray would have been nice. Okay. There's two. Final squirt with the water. Make sure I melt that cheese. Well, if you watch this, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any experience using the egg rings at home or if you like them or if you have a different brand. I know a lot of people use the uh, the rubber ones. There we go. Now we're melted. Mm. All right, those two. And uh, yeah, just let me know what your opinion is. One for my wife. One for me. That's it, folks. Sausage, pepper, onion, bagel, hash brown sandwich. Have a good one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep on griddling.